Hello everyone, I am Nitin. I, along with my group member, Mohammad Hafiz Niral, will be presenting our assignment on the salient features of energy balance for the country, Japan. Before going ahead, let's first understand what are the issues that Japan is facing in terms of energy. If we look at the Japan, the country as such has a very low self-sufficiency ratio in energy. A uh, low self-sufficiency ratio means that a country has a strong dependence on the energy imports. As per 2015 statistics, the self-sufficiency ratio of Japan was about 7.4% which is very low when compared to the other OECD countries. For example, the Denmark which has the highest self-sufficiency ratio is at 702%. The Britain is at about 65%. The another issue that the Japan is facing is the availability of the stable power supply. Other issues is the significant is the rise in the increase of CO2 emissions after the Fukushima accident since the dependence on the fossil fuel based energy sources has increased from 81% to 89% since 2010 to 2017. So some of the key issues that is faced by the Japan is as flashed on the screen. So the 90% of the dependence for the primary energy supply input is, uh, is from the coal, oil or from the natural gas. About 86% of the crude oil is imported from the Middle East. As far as the natural gas is concerned, it is distributed amongst the countries. The major supplier being Australia which supplies about 27% followed by Malaysia which supplies about 18.5%. So here the Japan has tried to diversify its primary energy supply sources which will ensure that it has a good energy security in case one of the countries fails to meet the required amount of export. So to ensure this Japan has also got a very strong diplomatic relations with these countries. Now let us look how and how the energy sector of Japan has changed before and after the earthquake in 2011. Prior to the earthquake, Japan has a dependency of 11.9% share by the nuclear power energy, which reduced to about 0.8% in the year 2016. Consequently, to cater for this excess demand, that is left unmet, the, in, the share of increase of LNG has significantly increased. So you can see from the slide that the share of the LNG has increased and it has peaked in the year 2014. Now this was the year when the tariff for the electricity in the Japan has increased by 25% from the rates what was there in 2010. The greenhouse, on the other hand, the greenhouse gas emissions has also peaked since has also peaked after 2011 incident, and it peaked in 2003. There was a total increase of 4% greenhouse emission gases from the Japan. Now, why does Japan need the nuclear power? Japan needs the nuclear power to have a stable supply. It needed the nuclear power to reduce the electricity cost. It also helped in reducing the CO2 emissions from the country. So as flashed on the screen, we can see those are the important points that why nuclear power was important to Japan. Now restarting the existing nuclear plants will meet, will require conforming to the new regulatory standard that was given by the national uh, regulatory agency. As per 2017, there were five plants which were operational. 
there were 17 which were undergoing the inspection and in case if the policy depends if the policy bases itself to have more energy from the nuclear supply we can see that those nuclear power plants may again be restarted by 2020 or subsequently more plants will be restarted at present the pathway to the japan's energy is not very sure whether they will be going totally or uh, total dependence on the nuclear power plant as earlier before the fukushima incident or it will be totally out of the dependence on the nuclear power energy there are some of the key developments that has taken place in the energy sector japan has been progressively pursuing the rnd on rnd of methane hydride as the non conventional domestic source the methane hydrides can act as the energy source to meet the growing demands of the japan and as well as to reduce the co2 emissions hydrogen is being seen as the another major energy source to meet the growing demands growing energy demands of the japan the japan has been actively pursuing the hydrogen in the transportation sectors and in the power generation for the residential areas the fuel fuel cell based vehicular application has received a lot of impetus in the japan and for the coming up 2020 tokyo olympics the japan is going to use hydro uh, fuel cell based vehicles as the main transportation unit during these olympics further a large amount of electricity in the residential areas is also going to come from the fuel cells that will play that will be used in each of the residential areas so as flashed on the screen the hydrogen energy or the hydrogen economy is expected to play a pivotal role another important measure that the japan has taken continuously is enhancing its energy efficiency the energy efficiency of the japan has increased we can see that from 2000 to 2015 the gdp of the japan grew by 1.12 percent and the energy consumption at the same time decreased by 0.83 times this only goes to show that japan has been adopting new and new energy efficient measures the sector of renewable energy has also received a significant boost a uh, new laws such as feed in tariff system has ensured that the renewable energy has grown by at an average at an annual growth rate of 26% since 2010 the feed in tariff system eases by which the renewable energy will be installed in the country as of 2015 the renewable energy ratio in generation electric power has increased up to 14.5 percent so as we can see from the screen there have been a significant rise from 2003 to 2016 in the share of the renewable energy and this has also been attributable to the new laws such as feed in tariff scheme where the energy that is generated from the renewable sources it directly uh, purchased by the electric supply companies and the taxes are thereafter levied on the customers now the future of the japan in terms of its energy security uh, it seems that it is it will be a mix from the renewable energy and the dependence of uh, on the fossil fuel based energy sources is going to decrease as japan has also promised the INDC of the Paris Agreement to reduce the CO2 emissions significantly. So this is what is the expected composition of the power resources in case if Japan's policy makers decide to have a dependence on the nuclear resources of the energy. 
This is with my presentation about the energy analysis of the Japan. Thank you very much.